Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Trailers, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's News Desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry website that reports on the film and TV show industries in the United States and across the world. If you like our trailer reactions, please like this reaction video as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you're all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. Now let's watch and react to the second trailer for Five Days at Memorial. Looks intense. Real intense. That's good. We survived Hurricane Katrina. We thought that we could survive anything. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. The world. They found 45 dead bodies there. Now, does that make any sense to you? I'm under a great deal of pressure to look into what happened. But there were five days, the most ungodly conditions. Jesus Christ. We are getting all the prescriptions back here. We are nurses. And we're going to get a better doctor. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. This is messed up. Let's be realistic about the situation. There is nothing else to do for them. I wish to make them comfortable. So what are we talking about? Will you ask me to look into the, the death of the more about the Senate? <laughs> the Attorney General's office is focusing their investigation on you. They're suggesting that some of their patients' lives may have been ended. I am sure that patients do not suffer pain. Some people were afraid of people outside of the hospital. But for me, it was the other way around. If you give the choice between comforting the patient, possibly quickening his death, or abandoning patients to suffer a slow death, what would you choose to do? Okay, so that is the second trailer for Five Days at Memorial. Uh, this is based on a true story, and uh, I am aware that a book was written about what happened at this hospital after Katrina, during and after Katrina, and uh, that's the that's what this uh, mini series is based on on Apple TV Plus. Uh, the there's. From what I can see, there is a there is a moral question, and it, that is raised in this uh, trailer. Uh, what would you do? Would you would you end somebody's life quickly, or would you let them suffer a slow death because they didn't know when this was going to end? And it looks like this hospital had no power for five days, no electrical power, so all of those people on those machines that were helping them breathe and regulate body functions, those are all off. So I'm guessing in one night you had fatalities, people just dying. And it uh, looks like the hospital was trying to keep out the water in certain areas that you just saw. And um, this happened, Katrina happened during the summer. So not only is the power out, but they have they have to deal with the heat of the summer as well and no air conditioning. So I I can imagine what these people went through. Um. This city that this is happening in, they never thought that this would happen. Obviously, they never thought that this would happen, that they that, that uh, the water would get that high and that they wouldn't have power. I mean, hospitals aren't set up to run if the city power is shut off. They're not engineered that way. Should they be in case of emergency like this? Probably, yeah, they should. 
But would an engineer who's building a regular hospital think of that? Think of the think of the whole first floor being flooded with water. Think of the city grid being off of power. No, they wouldn't think that. If they did, would they put uh, solar panels on the on the roofs and um, uh, power banks up there so that the so that there's stored power in reserve and so that the and so that the hospital can run off the solar panels on this on the on the roofs? Yeah, they might do that, but they didn't think of all that stuff. So they just built the, they just built these hospitals the regular way on the grid, you know, maybe back up gas power and that would be in the basement that wouldn't be on they wouldn't put that on the on the on the um on the roof because they never thought that the 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 bottom floor would be flooded. So even if they had a backup uh, electrical generator, it would most likely be on on the ground floor. And if that's flooded, obviously that's not going to work. So they didn't think of putting that in the uh, in the uppermost floor. They most had, most likely had it on the lowermost floor. So even if they had backup, wouldn't work. So anyway, that's just, um, that's a technical issue that I'm talking about. The moral issue uh, in this series is what, is what is going to be driving it, and the the horror of the moral decisions that these people had to 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 make. I didn't read the book. So I don't know what moral decision that they had to make. I'm guessing that they looked at all the people that they could reasonably save that didn't need a machine to keep them alive. And they eventually centered their help on those people, the people that they could get to the roof, the people that they could help. The people that they could not get to the roof that needed a bunch of equipment, they, they obviously they can't get all that equipment up there with those people on on that equipment and get them on that helicopter. So I'm guessing some type of care triage happened. I'm guessing because I have not, as I said, I have not read the book. This looks like it's going to be a very good uh TV miniseries for um, Apple TV Plus. I mean, they've been they've been practicing what what Netflix is not practicing. Netflix practices getting as much content onto their platform as possible. Apple TV Plus is trying to go the HBO route, where they are where they're not putting out as much content, but the content that they are pushing out is quality content. This is case in point. So I am I'm very much looking forward to watching this um, this TV miniseries because it looks like it's going to be um, very good. And that brings us to the conclusion of this reaction video. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you like what you heard during this trailer reaction, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our movie and TV show review channel at Filmbook Review. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these videos next.